From birthday parties to milestone celebrations, balloon backdrops, they're very fun. They're a popular and timeless way to enhance the look of your event. That's right. So a Wisconsin mom just created a business out of her love of balloon art. So reporter Kristen Hobrick shows us the festive atmosphere of Breezy and Co. This is a really big one. This, this is, is our 24, 24 inch <laughs> Chanel, you are a balloon artist, but we're not talking about twisting animals. Uh, nope. You are making these elaborate backdrops and designs yep. really perfect for any occasion. Yeah. I want to bring up the mermaid yes. design that you recently did. Okay, that is just like a wow factor. You've Thank got you. the mermaid <laughs> fin and the cascading yeah. balloons with the colors yes. and looks like a little shell yep. where people could sit. Yeah. How long did something like that take to make? It probably took about three, four hours to fully assemble everything and get it the way I wanted it, and then transporting it, and then on site, it probably takes about an hour. It's time consuming. It is. But the it payoff is, is, is it's amazing. It's wonderful, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> birthdays are popular. Yep. You also did a recent one, uh, Memorial Day. Yes. That was a big like yeah. park installation. Oh yeah, it was a concert in the park in Hudson. Pretty much decorated the whole band shell with balloons, and it was it turned out amazing. Those like little spikes on some of those yes. balloons too, which oh, made it really yes. stand out. Those are called starburst balloons, and those are super popular, especially with graduation parties. Color wise, when it comes to graduation parties, the standard school colors are really not the trend these days. Usually, I mean, it's usually graduates choosing what colors speak to them. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of pink <laughs> garlands yeah, around there. Girly, yeah, that's that's your style. Well, Chanel, I'm excited to get a glimpse at your creative process yes. here. And I'm seeing a wide range of balloon sizes and they look really durable. I use really high quality balloons. I'm not uh, bad mouthing Amazon, but when you get <laughs> the balloons off of Amazon, you don't know what you're you getting. You don't wanna go cheap. Right, yeah. and you just, you don't know what the quality is, how it's gonna hold up in all the different environments. So high quality balloons are where it's at. Look at that. I want them to have a nice round look instead of the oval look. It's just yeah. a little professional. And then to tie them, this is where it gets a little strange. So I like to go over Whoa. twice. Oh my gosh. And then tie them and you've got your your one set there. We're both moms yep. and we know that when it comes to our kiddos birthdays, yes. I mean you really want to make it special yeah. and yeah. it's a big milestone. Yes. And I remember for my daughter's birthday one year, it was the Frozen theme. Oh, yes. And I, tr I tried to do a, like, a balloon arch, yes. like many many people yeah. try. You order on Amazon, like the little strip where yeah. you are using a tweezers to feed the balloons yes. in. Um, yeah. But that's not necessarily your process. No. Walk no. me through the creative process. So you. I, when you buy the kits, and they work for some people, mm -hmm. but when it comes to the more professional look, you want a balloon garland that's going to be solid, it is not going to move the shape that it was There's It was not built. Be a <laughs> yes. balloon heading yep. out. When my son was born, I was all about his parties. We always went big. I got really into the balloon art and balloon backdrops, garlands. And once I got into that, it was like three years in of doing that. And I was just thinking, you know, I feel like I could make There's this something into something. Here. There's something here. That's good. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like a little toot. <laughs> it's kind of a funny process. And it's okay if they're not the same size. It's kind of nice to have a variety of sizes. Whether they're the same size balloon, you can make them different sizes. And that kind of just gives it a lot of, it, we call it an organic look. Yeah. An organic garland is a variety. So then I have my two sets and then I will actually just make them into a four. It must be so rewarding. It Describe is. the feeling when you're able to meet them with a customer or client and you've got the whole display, the whole design set and they see it for the first time. It brings me so much joy. I mean, I love what I do and when I get to see other people loving it as well, it just is everything to me. It just makes it all worth it. Okay, those displays are so cute. Yeah. I mean, that's beyond like a balloon arch. Well, those are, there's yes. an artistry to that. Yeah, I think everybody at home, even, even myself, when you were like thinking about what this would look like, that's way more elaborate. Well, first I was thinking, thinking we're gonna make like balloon animals. <laughs> Which is also well, maybe she could lovely, but yeah. that looks really chic yeah. and very fun. All right, if you want to learn more, head over to TwinCitiesLive.com. We'll be back.